Hello everybody, I'm Sandy from Christchurch United Reformed Church and I'm the children and family worker. Welcome to our children and family worship this morning. Let's begin by talking to God. Lord God, help us to understand how good it feels to forgive and to be forgiven. Help us to remember that you forgive us again and again. Amen. And now it's time for our Bible reading. Our Bible reading today is from Matthew 18, verses 21 to 35. Peter asked Jesus how often we should forgive someone. Seven times? Jesus told Peter this story about two slaves. The first slave owed his king 10,000 talents, more money than he could ever pay back. The king came to him saying, it's time for you to pay up. If you don't have the money, you'll have to sell everything you own, your house, your possessions, even your wife and children. The first slave fell to his knees and begged the king. I have changed my mind. You are released from the debt. Straight away, the man went out and he met another slave. The second slave owed him a smaller amount, just 100 denarii. Pay up what you owe me. Please have patience, I need more time to pay. Please have patience. There was no pity in the first slave, though he had the man who owed him money thrown into prison. saying he wouldn't be set free until he had paid his debt. Of course, all this was reported back to the king, who was extremely angry. I had mercy on you. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow slave? Then the king handed over the man to be tortured until he had paid the debt. Jesus looked at Peter and his other disciples and said, So you must forgive more than seven times, let's say seventy-seven times. Hey, you really have to forgive people with your hearts, not just your mouths. Let's praise God now as we sing. If you've got any musical instruments, use them in the chorus to really praise God. And now let's praise God as we sing Shine Jesus Shine which can be found in Songs of Fellowship, number 362. Lord, the light of your love is shining In the midst of the darkness shining Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us Set us free by the truth you now bring us Shine on me Shine on me, shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory, place, spirit, place, set our hearts on fire, flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy, send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Lord, I come to your awesome presence, from the shadows into your radiance. By the blood I may enter your brightness. Search me, try me, consume all my darkness. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze, 
set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. As we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness, ever changing from glory to glory. Mirrored here, may our lives tell your story. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Right, let's look at the story together. This week's passage follows on from last week where we were looking at forgiveness. I have here, beside me, a large amount of money. And I've got some coins here. And I've also got some notes. And there's £50 notes and some coins there. So over £50 worth of money there. So imagine if you owed someone all that money, if you owed them all that money, but you didn't have it. And so they said, don't worry, if you don't, you don't have to pay me back this time. How would you feel? Would you feel relieved or happy and grateful? I'd feel grateful. Now here's a smaller amount of coins. It's about 35p there. Imagine if someone else owed you this amount of coins. Would you still make them pay it back, even after the other person had let you off paying the larger amount? Jesus uses this story to show us how different God's forgiveness is than ours. In the story Jesus told, if the fellow servant's 100 denaro debt was represented in 5p coins, it could be carried in one pocket. That's the smaller amount. A servant's 10,000 talent debt forgiven by the king would take around 8,500 people, each carrying a bag of five peas weighing 30 kilograms. Wow, so that was a much bigger debt, wasn't it? Jesus wants us to forgive people, not once, not twice, but as many times as it takes. And I think we should try, as Jesus gave his life on the cross to forgive our debts and the things we do wrong. So God's forgiveness is like a gift to us. Because God has forgiven us, we should be prepared to forgive. Passing on this gift, and just as God forgives us for everything we have ever done or ever will do, so we should not just forgive once, but over and over and over and over and over. You get the picture. Just keep forgiving. That's hard, isn't it? Let us pray. Let's talk to God now. Help us, Lord, to always remember to forgive as you forgive us, again and again and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. Let's do the grace together. Follow me for the actions. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. So don't forget, if someone annoys or upsets you this week, stop, count to seven and forgive them. If you want to join in our Sunday Club Zoom session, it's at 11.15 this morning. Just ask me for the link. You can phone me on 07511950633. And that's it for today. Goodbye.